something you can't fix. If you can't fix what's broken, you'll, uh, you'll go instead. It's Jay and Adam. It's Previewed. It's Previewed's Fix It with Adam and Jay. Hey, Peaches! Welcome to Fix It, where friends don't let friends fix pop culture alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay, and you're our listener. Hey there, listener kingdom. Hello there. The land of Listeria is under the, the powerful control of... Of King Cooper, and he must be defeated. He stole Jay, and yes. I got and I gotta get him. And unfortunately, he keeps That's moving right, him to different castles. Grab your fire flowers and your tanuki suits, listeners. We're taking a kingdom back. All right, <laughs> rebellion. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Poop, poop. <laughs> Mario, right? Is that the is that, that's close to the fire flower? Yeah, name? man. Hit, poot, poot. Yeah, well, meet at your nearest uh, at your nearest uh, oh. green tube warp pipe. Yeah, yeah, and and we shall we'll sh- we'll go to uh, world uh, the the giant world. I think it's world c- four. I think it's four. And we'll uh, we will <laughs> we will appease the giants there, and we will ride them to victory. Ah, yes. Ba-da-da-da-da-da. Welcome to Fix It. Uh, I'm Jay. That's Adam. You you may know us as the uh, superstar powered up YouTube channel hosts of Previewed, uh, where we react, review, riff to all sorts of uh, uh, all just the, all internet content. You may know us uh, from Previewed Gaming, Ooh. the most creatively named YouTube channel of all time. Indeed. Uh, and you can watch us uh, play spooky, scary games there because people like watching Adam falling out of chairs. It's really, really fun. It is fun um, to watch <laughs> later on, a year a year after, be like, oh, yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's silly. Oh, yeah, I remember that hurt a little bit. But this is not reaction. This is not let's play video game content. This is our podcast, Fix It, where every week we take a piece of pop culture that maybe missed the mark, maybe didn't quite get there, maybe didn't jump high enough to get to the top of the flagpole. I was going to see it. Just, just missed that flagpole. <laughs> by. Well, this time, there's no maybes about it. It missed by. It fell in the lava. <laughs> and we fix it. And if you can tell from all of our uh, ridiculous uh, jargon in the beginning here, Adam and I are fixing uh, this week 1993's Super Mario Bros. It's true. The bros. It's not, it's it's not, not brothers. brothers. It's bros. No. Super Mario Bros. Uh, the the uh, first, uh, I think it's Nintendo's first jaunt into live action filmmaking. Well, The Wizard came out in the 80s. Oh, well. But that was more of a 90-minute uh, uh, commercial for the Power Glove. Yes. And it was kids playing video games, so it was in our reality playing Nintendo games. So technically, I guess that was a Nintendo video game movie? Yeah, sure. But it, yeah, more but about Nintendo itself and not the actual the worlds the games play. Yes. Um, yeah, so this week we're going to be fixing Super Mario Bros. Um how how did how did you watch this movie? The interesting thing about this movie is that uh, Super Mario Bros. is on no streaming services. It's not out there. It is it is it's hidden, not anywhere to be found. Um, I'm assuming you took to the high seas a yard. No 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 no. I went on. I got on my airship. Oh okay. Yes, uh, with a couple Koopalings, and uh, we just floated out into the middle of the Atlantic. You know, above the Atlantic Ocean, and I watched it at 1.5 speed. Uh, you want to know a fun fact? What's that fun fact? Um, I watched the first 20 minutes of this at normal speed. Oh. And then I, <gasps> in true Adam fashion, <gasps> I watched this at 1.75 speed. I am so proud of you. Because the first 20 minutes made me so upset that I knew I just needed to get through this. Yes. I just needed to ingest it and move on. This movie is like 100 minutes long. Like, it's it's longer it's not, than it should be. It's not, yeah, it is not short by any capacity. <laughs> it really is And wowzers, I knew I needed to get into me. I, uh, actually, someone put it in the comments of the watch along. Uh, this week, because you can't find it anywhere, uh, the Discord watch along for uh, for the Fix It podcast, uh, we ended up watching Sonic the Hedgehog. Which is a fantastic movie. <laughs> which... I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I thought I was gonna thought. I thought it was like, ah, oh, this will be fun. It was charming. Yes, it was a delight. It's great. It's a really good movie. Yes. Thank God they went back and fixed that they, because, yes. like, yes. Wow, that could have been bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that was. It was worth every penny they spent redoing it. Yes, because, it was. 
because yeah uh but someone uh found it it's uh, on an internet archive site okay like there's there's on there's like sites online that yeah. like archive old mm-hmm. content and someone found it on an archive site oh wow um so i i ended up watching it that way oh okay cool um but it was that was something i didn't know existed neither did i interesting uh so thanks for uh thanks for sending that that my way um but um I know I say this a lot on this show. Okay. This is the worst thing we've ever watched for Fix It. But this is worse than Speed 2? Yes. Wow. Yes. This is worse than the Dungeons and Dragons movie. This, yes. this movie. Which got way worse after watching this, uh, the one yesterday. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly so upset by Super Mario Bros., I'm so upset by this movie. We're going to get into it, but first... It really is. Before we get into everything, uh, Adam, how you doing, bud? I'm doing... I, I'm actually doing pretty well. Okay. We, I, Can I, I mean, be totally honest with you? Yeah. I wasn't sure how you were going to answer this question. Okay. Because you have... the All the time we spent together in the past couple of days, mm-hmm. you have felt like you're somewhere else. I, I have been somewhere else. Okay. I, I have been in our near future. Okay. I've been astral projecting our, myself into uh, late April, early May. Okay. Uh, because now that we, Bad Batch, we're done with Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. And the only show we got going right now is the last three episodes of Mando. And other than that, we don't know what show's coming out next. We know there are a lot of shows waiting in the wings for us later yep. this year. But there, as far as I'm aware, we have no announcements for anything else yet. So, with other giant life-changing things in our near like future. Like what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. A me- <laughs> meteor crashed into ch- the earth. A child. A child. A child. A child. Just, a, just a, a wee babe. The sweet babe. A wee babe is coming in, uh, you know, maybe about two and a half months-ish. Somewhere about there. Yeah. Uh, you don't we- have to remind me, pal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dong. <laughs> Dong. Yeah, you're ringing a bell that is, already, that is already reverberating through my whole body, so... So I've already been kind of like thinking like, okay, so what are we going to do? How do we do this? How do we do that? You know, what's the, what are we going to do with the, with the podcast? We show just like, just, I, there's so many permutations of just things I've been thinking about of just how we absorb this new life-changing thing into our lives. Okay. And I've been there. And now that we're done with Bad Batch, there's more free space in my head to be like, great. Now I can put the reactions to the side because we only have one right now that we're, we actively know what we're doing. Chilling, man. And it's then great. I can, so I can think about, great, I think about the podcast, think about finishing off Mando, editing bonus, bonus action, and now that we have this, the dates for shooting campaign season one, however we're delineating a bonus action, that's, you know, like, because everything right now is a thought, uh, yeah, a thought process of how we're going to do X, Y, and Z. So now that we have, I have more RAM to handle all the permutations and thinking about how to do all the things. Yeah. I've just been thinking about doing how to do all the things. Makes sense. How do we keep you in the moment? How do we get you back in the moment? Oh, I, I always get back there. I don't know. I just been kind of worried about you if I'm totally honest. Oh no, no. I just would be right before I because like I was even thinking about that when we were going down to see the Dungeons and Dragons yesterday. Oh like, yeah, my you head. Were not, my, you I were was not yeah, with in, me. until the movie started. I was yeah. I was just kind of like okay, we got okay. And I keep being like, hey, what's up? And you're like nothing. And I'm like okay, because the the other answer is everything. Yeah. So it's no, easier. I get that. I'm. If anything, I am tr- I am really aggressively trying to maintain being not in that where you are at, mm-hmm. only because I- I'm trying to keep my house as stress free as possible. For, yes. for that one. And the thing is, like my my, it's not, I'm not really thinking. I, it's not very stressful for me. It's just you know just a lot of thoughts because my thoughts are trying to make sure that this is as less stressful for you so you can not so you have time to think about this how to make this less part, stressful. This is the fun man. This is the you know this is the fun. We get to you know <laughs> I know. This why I'm trying to keep this fun. <laughs> keep it's fun. Got to keep it fun for Jay. <laughs> keep it fun for Jay. <laughs> You need to stress out about how not I'm to be fu- stressful I'm around fine, Jay. Man, I'm fine. <laughs> if you talked to me like three weeks ago, I was not okay. But I, but if anything, I learned. Uh, if anything, I the past couple like especially like you're like how you doing a couple weeks ago? I was like ah, ah yeah I'm fine. No, <laughs> but like I had a kind of a come to Jesus conversation with myself, being like hey like. 
whatever you're doing right now in order to keep your house a stress-free home is actually doing the exact opposite. You need to kind of like get, you need to get your mind right. Um, but yeah. Okay. All right. Cause I've been, you've, you've been aggressively not around, which is fine. I'm in the future. Mentally, future. In the- <laughs> future. In the future. Yeah. I mean, cause I, 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 it's really the past. Well, this year, I think, when the, when the year started. So, it, it's, it's only been three months. <laughs> this year is only three months old. It's, there's been so much going on this year. Yeah, dude. Um, for the past three months, has really kind of solidified how... I don't, I don't use this term lightly because I rarely ever say it, but how blessed we are yeah. with this job, career. You should use it more because that's what the, that's the reality of what we're living in. Yeah. And just how much fun you and I have doing this, yeah, and entertaining everybody, and hanging out with everybody, and mm-hmm. playing the games, and doing be on Discord, and you know, interacting with the comments, and just all the, everything that encompasses this crazy brand that we came up with, um, and just you know, seeing this you know life altering thing coming at us, and like, okay, our lives are going to change. This is like, but and like, just like how we, uh, re- the the real life you know having a kid yeah. and the fun you know new ish type of life that not like my parent and our parents generation doesn't truly understand of no being you know guys you know content creators and branding you know branding your own stuff and doing your own thing yeah. is colliding and like i've really just kind of the past few months have really solidified how like it's going to be hard but how important it is that we together as a unit balance yeah. this well you know the thing. the the one thing that we're is that because i've been thinking about a lot too the one the one aspect we are truly blessed in that um because real life is coming crashing in pretty hard uh over here at the schmidt house um most most things of like what we're trying to do mm-hmm. fall apart when this kind of thing happens and we are very much we are very lucky to be in a position where it's not going to like we're gonna be fine. It's gonna. I mean, it's not gonna be easy. No, it's not gonna be easy. But like, but also like, we are gonna. We'll weather the storm. Yeah. So like, that's that's always. I'm like, because it's the kind of thing where it's like, that's that's been the tail end of a lot of my stress. And I'm like, oh, like, what about this? What about this? And it's like, you know what? It's going to be fine. It's gonna be fine. Like if you just take if if you just take your anxiety all the way to the end of the road and be mm-hmm. like. But like, is every are we all gonna get like murdered because of this? No, we're gonna be fine. No, we're all gonna be fine. We're all still gonna be friends, and there's gonna be another little friend, and that can be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm I'm good. Okay, it's I'm just, wor- I've been worried about you. Oh, thanks. No, it's it's because I've been worried about you. You don't need to worry about me. But no, I'm I, being serious. I, I'm, your, I'm your work wife. That's what I, I do. No, I, it's my I, job. I it's my job to entertain the people at home and worry about no, my. No, but butt. I understand that you don't uh, if. Like, you are you already do so much for me. You already do so much for me. You don't need to worry about me. Okay, I'm being serious. I hear you. Like, I'm very, I'm, I'm so thankful for everything you already do. You don't need to take on anymore. Okay. 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 I just want to make sure you're enjoying your life. I. So that's the thing. Yes, I am. Dude, when we were Resident Evil Four this past week, yeah, two nights we were really was even though it's like I, I've been thinking dude. about it. I was like, I can't wait to play more. <laughs> when Cade told you to shoot the leg, I was like, Yeah, this is this is exactly this is exactly what we're doing. Here. We, we haven't streamed a game I think since Resident Evil Eight. Yeah, and it's it's just been like, oh man, we just haven't had time for this. And also, there hasn't been like really a fun game like this to play. We haven't s- casually streamed together in a while. Yeah. It's always been like very much like, oh, ah! like, like oh, it's it's <laughs> yeah. either crowd work or it's like your birthday and it's like a whole thing. And yeah. It's just like ah, like I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Like just don't die. All right. Like it, just just being friends. Yes. It's it was it's good vibes. It was great vibes. But yeah, it's just yeah, it's, we everything's just been so busy with all this stuff. And it's just been nice to be like, oh yeah, I I am slowly settling back into the enjoying real life, being present as you know the team's coming together and everyone's figuring stuff out and you know plans are being made and we're, we're yeah, figuring bonus we're, actions can be really really good. Yes, well the more the it's more the more we have everything solidified for that, 
is like because there's, there's too many permutations because there's so many people I involved. will say the day that we spent setting everything up from a set perspective like completely turned my brain to absolute porridge <laughs> yes it did yes, I yes. Like, we were all just like, <laughs> like alright uh, how do we <laughs> 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 yeah. but it was so good to figure it out and be like yeah. great ah that's the weight is gone out of my brain we know how we're going to do this it's, there's still a couple of variables though, but we'll figure it. We'll, we'll squeeze it in somewhere. Oh, we'll boy. put a camera on it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this, this this whole year so far has been there's been a lot of like things in the air. Like we got to figure out how we're doing stuff, and at this point, we have figured out how to do most of it. Yeah. So like it's like my brain is clearing up and being like I've been able to enjoy you know getting back into the moment more because like oh I don't have to worry about so many stuff because we've already figured it out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Rad, dude. So things are good. Cool. Yeah. Woo! So, Super Mario Bros. Before we get... Before we... We, 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 we talked about this beforehand, guys. I'm already getting Cause angry. Because Jay... Yeah, you can see, you can see, you can see Jay... <laughs> I'm already getting angry! Before, before we actually discuss the movie itself, <clears throat> we need to go to Brian and all of his fun bean fact footage... Because there, are, we have burning questions of how in the hell this movie was made. Because it just, from especially from a 2023 perspective, doesn't make a whole lot of sense yes. how this got through all of those people and how Nintendo signed off on this because it's their IP. Like, how did this movie come like, to if be? if anything, I feel like this movie is the reason that Nintendo is so touchy about their IP now. Oh, that makes sense. Because, like, we, we fool me once. Yeah. You know, and this is the biggest of fool me once is this movie. All right. So, Brian, why don't you roll that beautiful bean fun fact footage? Thank you, gentlemen. Producer Brian here. And today we're trying to fix 1993's Super Mario Bros. Directed by Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jenkel, this movie stars John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper, and Bob Hoskins. That's right, Bob Hoskins. I'll say it a third time. Bob Hoskins. This movie made $38.9 million on a budget of $48 million. And if you care, it has a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, so now for the good stuff. Producer Roland Jaffe pitched his idea to Nintendo for a Mario movie, and they give him full creative license over Mario because they believe that the Mario brand was strong enough for experimentation. Now, this movie is mostly based on 1990s Super Mario World, fairy tales, and American culture in general. But interestingly enough, this movie is considered a landmark in transitioning from practical effects to digital effects in the movie industry. At one point, Buena Vista Pictures, aka Disney, purchased the distribution rights to this movie and demanded rewrites to the entire script. Now, this was not what everybody signed up for, and this accounts for the massive changes in tone during the movie. And finally, because of its total failure, Super Mario Bros. was the only live-action movie to be based on a Nintendo property until 2019's Detective Pikachu. Anyway, back to you, gentlemen. Great job, Brian. That was a, that was so much information. What a wonderful deep dive, Brian. Well we done. You. Very, very much. Um, before before we jump into this movie, I feel like for those of, for those people who have not. Mm seen super mario bros because how could you because it's nowhere it's, on the internet it's not on the internet i want you to do it i have absolutely exist. no idea um we will move into our next segment um that we lovingly call plot drop and i am going to do my best to describe the plot of this movie as quickly as humanly possible but obviously with the assumption that everyone knows what the basic formula of super mario brothers is so just remembering ahead. Yes. The normal, like, original three... No, at 93, by that time... Mario, Mario trying Mar to save yeah. a princess from, yeah. from, 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 from Bowser. King Koopa. Yeah. Power-ups. From Koop King... Yeah. yeah. Stomp jumping on things. Goombas. Turtles. Tor turtles. Oh, yeah, because he's about... Mm, you know what? We can't... Okay, so, so... Plot drop. With that in mind... Super Mario Bros. Here we go. So, a uh, a mysterious egg is left on the, uh, on the doorstep... Of, oh, of a nunnery 
It hatches into a baby, um, and there's a mysterious stone left with the baby um, that she uh, is inevitably wears as a necklace. We cut to uh, the future. It's it's the early 90s. and so Everyone's uh, eating pizza in New York everyone's City. Everyone's eating pizza in New York City and all the different places. <laughs> and all the people wearing all those weird, fancy get-ups like in uh, like, uh, Beetlejuice. Uh, you know, yes. Whatever that like small snapshot of Hollywood, where they're like, "Well, this is how fancy people dress." What did did every everyone saw Bat? Everyone saw the first Batman movie and lost their minds. <laughs> <laughs> is really the moral of the story. Um, but uh, so we're in New York City, uh, and we have Mario and his younger brother. Luigi? Uh, Luigi, they they make Ooh. they talk about their relationship in so many different ways. It's very confusing. It, yes, um, and they are plumbers, and they are down on their luck, and they got to pay their rent. And so they're uh, living in Brooklyn. Yeah, they inevitably uh, run into um, a a young paleontologist working for the college NYU, NYU. Yeah, working for NYU, and they found a uh, they have found a dig site. Uh, and the mob is trying to edge them out because they have found meteorite particles that are very valuable down there as well. Oh, and so okay. through through like a weird turn of events, uh, Mario and Luigi go to uh, help Daisy in the dig space. Right, right. Um, mm-hmm. Because Daisy and Luigi are kind of have a bud like a burgeoning relationship. Yeah, um, the only matter to that day. And they find themselves uh, teleported while trying to stop a the mob who has sabotaged the water main. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. They're trying to fix the water main. They find themselves transported to the Mushroom Kingdom. How, unquote, Jay? Through the wall. Through the through a wall. Through a wall. Well, how, whatever that means. You know, it was a fake wall. Sure. Yeah. Um. They find and and in this in this realm. This is the realm in which, uh, when the meteorite hit Earth, it killed all the mammals and not the dinosaurs. And so dinosaurs are the ones that evolved into people, which makes absolutely no sense. Zero sense. We have a despot ruler, King Koopa, who was apparently, he has was once a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he rules over this city that all of their natural resources are slowly dwindling and they are trying to get the meteorite piece from Princess Daisy, who they've captured, mm-hmm. and uh, reunite it with the meteorite so they can phase into our world and take all of our resources. Oh, right. The meteor survived the impact and yeah. didn't just... Whatever. Yeah. Um, and if we, we... Yeah. It's... Yeah. It's bad. And... <laughs> uh, yeah, basically Mario and Luigi go through a bunch of hijinks. Uh, we find out that there is an e- a evolution and de-evolution chamber, which turns their new friend Toad into a quote-unquote Goomba, which I guess are dinosaur creatures. Um, and there is a, a lar- large amount of chasing for the MacGuffin that is uh, the the necklace. Inevitably, the bad guys get it. They reunite it. Uh, and, but then... Uh, the guys are Luigi and uh, Daisy pull it back out and save the day. I think. Sure. And they fight Koopa with their magical jumping shoes, jumping boots or whatever. Oh, and they use guns. Yeah. And there's guns and there's guns Uh, and they save the day. And at the very tail end of the movie, uh, Daisy comes knocking at the door laden with a huge gun and grenades and says, you're never bandoliers. She had bandoliers on. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was sequel bait, is what it was. It was. Uh, We're never gonna believe what happens. We need your help. Cut to black. Yeah. Super Mario Bros. Not nothing. Nothing from the actual games, really. Bob bombs. The Bob bombs. Sure. Bob bombs doesn't make any sense. And the bullet there. ricks. The bullet ricks. Bullet. The bullets. Oh, the bullets. There's a bullet Bob. Bills. Bullet, bullet bills. bills. There we go. The bullet just, bills. Sh- Rick. Just, where did I get Rick from? <laughs> Morty. I'm, I'm, I'm bullet Rick. <laughs> I'm bullet Rick. I'm bullet Rick. I'm coming for you, Morty. Shoot me out of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's stupid. <laughs> Better than the movie. Yeah, that's fair. Um, okay. Do you, would you like to just go, sir? Um, no. I'd like to hear your thoughts first, okay. and then I can temper myself because. 
So I saw this movie in the theaters. I'm pretty sure I saw this movie really? in the theaters. Oh yeah, yeah. In '93, I'm 14. Like this is uh, I am pro- I am the target demographic for this movie. I was too young. '93, I was only eight. It was kind of a before my time. This. So there's. I have two perspectives now. 14 year old Adam saw this movie and just and and hated it because it didn't make any sense. How is this a Mario Brothers movie? This, none. None of this is Mario Brothers. Mm-hmm. How? What is? What? I don't understand. How did this get made? This was the same feeling I had when the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe movie was made in the mid '80s. How? This isn't He-Man. Why is he on Earth? This isn't. What, what the, was it about? Like, what late, the hell is going on? Late '80s, early '90s, like uh, IP movies. They thought that they had to like explain it more differently or more interestingly for us to be in, and it was like, no, just do the thing. It's just cheaper to take these IPs. And what what I've learned as an adult now is it was cheaper to take these IPs and have like the first twenty you know ten minutes and the last twenty minutes set on whatever Eternia let's say sure and have the whole middle hour of it on Earth because it's cheaper. To, there's no sets involved. It's just shoot on you know shoot in the suburbs, shoot in the desert, shoot in the forest. It's just yeah. cheaper that way to make a movie to cash in on the IP. So it was all BS is what it was. Yeah. So seeing the movie as a kid, I hated it because it had nothing to do with. Mario Brothers, and it was just dumb and stupid. It was just stupid. Does it make any sense? This isn't Mario Brothers. Seen as an adult this past week. Yeah, it still has nothing to do with Mario Brothers. But it is a, it's a well-made movie. It's a good, well-made, from just from a movie per, uh, stand, like, it's a good movie. It has nothing to do with Mario Brothers. It's sure. a it's a very bad story. It's a, it's horrible when it comes to the, what, the what they were doing. But the sets are cool. But the sets were cool. The, the effects are fun. The effects are fun. The acting's good. Like they, they, you know, the, the, the jokes for kids, like, yeah, the way the actors were doing, they were, everyone was doing their job correctly. It's just, it's an extremely bad story. And they did a very poor job of actually doing the IP justice. So as an adult, like, yeah, it still sucks for a Mario Brothers movie, but the movie itself, if, if, if you took out, like if it wasn't Mario Brothers and it just like was something else. Fine. You brought this point up to me no, yeah. numerous times. It's a, it's a we fine it's a it. fine movie. If it's not supposed to be a Mario Brothers movie and just a silly adventure for kids, silly romp. Yeah, yeah. then it's, that's one thing. It's like, oh, yeah, this is perfectly fine. It's a kids movie. It's 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 a perfectly early '90s kids film for like a little adventure in dinosaur world. Sure, okay, because you can easily just extract a couple names and change a couple props, and you'd never know it was a Mario Brothers movie. Sure, but since it was trying to be a Mario Brothers movie, it's horrible. Yeah. It's very bad as a Mario Brothers movie. Yes. This this movie to me feels as if the director and screenwriter just played like the first 20 minutes of Super Mario World, which at this point when this movie came out yep. was the most recent mm-hmm. Mario. On the SNES. Yep. And and it's an incredible game. Mm-hmm. And they do, the, they do go to some dinosaur worlds, mm-hmm. and that's part of it. Yep. But it is not... It's not the the thesis statement of Mario in any way. No, it's not. It's not. Nope. It's. Nope. You are. <laughs> there's just like, the problem is, is that like, uh, there, there's just too many avenues to go down right now. I just feel like I'm on Diagon Alley and I'm like, which, which <laughs> way is, I don't know what my biggest complaint is, is that like, for me, it's a fundamental misunderstanding of like, what's fun about Mario, what Mario actually is. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you, f- they spend so much time on this, all the dinosaur stuff yes. and all the evolution and devolution stuff that it just it deletes itself from like any kind of Mario centric narrative in any way. Yeah, like there's not. You're telling me that it, so the 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 king, who's Daisy's dad apparently, mm-hmm. who's been looking for her. Yep. You're telling me that he. Koopa devolved him so much that he's a mushroom. Yes. Which A is just not we that's not Well, I know why they did that. Cuz they make it the mushroom kingdom. Two that's two there's two reasons. One is that. Okay. The second reason is in Super Mario 3, every time you free a uh world, a land mm-hmm. from one of the Koopa kids, you get the wand and you turn the king of that land back from a animal back into the king so that was already in one of the games established that was came up before the movie so that's what they were a nod to no, no one no one that's not 
that's the, the, the small list of nods. To, I know. I think they just wanted it there because there be mushrooms everywhere, and there's he's the mushroom. Well, then I'm giving them too much credit but also, because that's what, that's exactly Koopa what they did, did that in order to keep him quiet. But then the the fungus started getting everywhere and infecting everything. You're telling me that you wouldn't just like maybe evolve him a little bit, maybe turn him into like a canary. I don't know something else. It just seems like they're like, oh man, this this fungus is killing all of us. I'm like, it's your fault. You can fix this problem. I don't understand. It, <sighs> It, it has a, but also, you we're also led to believe that everyone in this world is they're dinosaurs. They're quote unquote dinosaurs. They're dinosaurs. They don't look like dinosaurs. No, they're humans. They, they evolved to humans. They, they involved it. They evolved into humans, which is not how evolution works in any capacity. It's not. No. It's not. It's not. It's not even close. No. It, it, they're like, oh, we're dinosaurs. I'm like, how? I'm like, well, do you see the spikes on my shoulders on my coat? I'm like, that's not how this works at all. That's no, not. But also, like at one point, they like they de-evolve. Koopa just a little bit, and yeah. then his eyes go feral, and then when uh-huh. it's never brought up again. No, it's not. There's also all of... Now keep going, Jay. I think Bob Hodgkins and uh, and John Leguizamo are actually really fun in this movie. Yeah, he did a very good I job. Think they do a with good a, job. They elevated this horrible material. Like, they actually... I Like, I am keeping them in my fix because of it. Oh, okay. I think it's really fun. Cool, okay. And when they do suit up, and they have their little things, mm-hmm. I was like, this is great. Yep. But also, like... At that point, I was like, "Cool, so we're gonna start jumping on some fools." Nope. No, we are not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Um, well, they figured we figured out a, this is the only way we can explain Goombas. Well, then figure out a better way. Like, but also, you don't have to explain Goombas to me. No, you don't. You really don't. Nope. They you are really. Can, they can just be. They like there is a certain level of like silliness to this movie that I'm like, you you you're taking certain things seriously and other things not at all in a way that I fundamentally can't wrap my head around. Mm-hmm. I mm. also like Koopa's behavior with Daisy is wildly inappropriate. Oh yes, it's, yes, it's. I made a specific note. I was like, by well, a kid's movie standard, yes. is completely unacceptable. But from a nice perspective, like I remember, like a lot of movies back then, like had little elements like that and we never thought twice about it because like oh yeah he's of course he's he's being mean to her not realizing like oh yeah it, that doesn't age well That's, i just don't was, understand mm-mm. how nintendo allowed this movie to be made because it felt like there were moments where they had their finger in the pie and that like yoshi's here why just because because we want to sell we want to sell systems and games homie I- that's why but he, sure that's why he doesn't look here. like Yoshi and he doesn't Even do anything. We based the entire movie's plot on the fact that there are Yoshis. He's not going to affect the plot in any nope. capacity, but we're going to plan this whole They thing. had animatronic dinosaurs sprinkled throughout this movie. Sure. But like sure. But I don't Yeah. I mm, There wasn't really a ton of jokes in this movie. You made me watch. You made me look at Fisher Stevens for way longer than I ever want to. Mm-hmm. I just I'm no s- no part of the Mario Brothers games, and at this point, there has been multiple on on multiple systems when the movie this movie was made. None of them are in, set in a dystopian cityscape. In no way, in no capacity. So at any point, and Koopa, I don't. Be- Koopa is just a like a. Like a turtle, right? Is he like a, a dinosaur turtle or something? Koopas like are like turtles. Yeah. yeah. Well, King Koopa, Bowser. Yes. And I guess that's what frustrated me so much is that he's like King Koopa this whole time. And I'm like, no, like we've moved on to Bowser at this point. Like it's a different, he's a totally different thing. Mm-hmm. It's like his, like us going to that world, like didn't have much. <sighs> I just, so this angry. movie, this movie to me is the living embodiment of, of, of people who don't this is a living body of a mindset that didn't really care about video games no doesn't really care about like because but also like we are the first generation i think to really like actually give a crap about these ips yes and so like there was this movie was treated treated like the mario world as if it was just like some kind of flash in the pan oh there was no respect for the source material at all in any capacity no when me as a child was like, I really care about this, and you are obliterating yes. any semblance of this being cool. Yeah. Like, I want to walk away from a Mario movie like, Mario is so cool. Yeah. I am so cool that I play video games. Mm-hmm. I walk away from this movie being like, oh, I'm. this is a lame thing that I do. 
Yeah. Like this, this, this movie almost judges its source material. I'm stupid, and I should feel bad for liking this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I did the best I could with what with what I had in front of me, and this is what you got. Like mm-hmm. I feel like that's the director just being like, "Look, what do you want, kid?" Yeah, shut up, kid. Enjoy the movie. Eat your yeah. popcorn. Eat your popcorn. And shut yeah. up. Didn't you like it? There was a bomb in there. Yeah, shut shut your mouth. Yeah. Didn't you like the dance scene? It was funny, right? There was boobs. You were staring at boobs. It's like boobs, right? You're you're almost the, whatever. Shut up, kid. Yeah, that dance. Who is the the person that had the meteorite? The woman who was she supposed to be? I, I don't know. I thought the at the beginning of the movie that Mario was. Uh, I thought she, he was with Pauline. I thought Pauline was the one that it was. Got That's kidnapped. who I thought she was too. It's not Pauline. It's not Pauline. It's somebody else. It's, yeah. it's another name, but it could have been that. That could have been easily Pauline. Yeah. Because that's in Mario Canon. That was in the games way back in the early eighties. Mm-hmm. That was right. It's right there, man. It was right there. Yeah. I just... There have been a lot of bad movies that I watched, and I'm like, there's some like funny stuff here, and like, but the, this one in particular, I just was like, I'm, I'm mad that I have to watch this. Yeah. Because, like, I don't... Hmm. Which makes me excited for this new Mario movie, to a degree. In that, look, I know, like, the marketing, and, they, and they've had their own issues with that. They have? With the whole Chris Pratt thing and like him. Oh, because like people Mario being mad at Chris yada, Pratt and Bobble. Yada, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Like, so the Mario well, movie. First blush, catching... Yeah, that first line they put in the teaser was not helpful. No, it didn't yeah. nail it. It didn't, didn't nail, nail it. it. And, but, but as I see more trailers for that, I'm excited yeah, yeah. for this movie. Yeah. But like now I'm even more excited because I was just like, uh, when after finishing Super Mario Bros., I was like, I'm glad you're not anywhere. Go away. Yeah. Like, burn it with fire. Well, because after seeing this movie and seeing how it had nothing to do with the actual source material, and this next movie from um, uh, Illuminations is like, this thing looks like it has everything. Everything. To do with the it source material. It rejoices in its... In its uh... That, for me, I'm also looking forward to seeing this movie this week because I'm not so... Like, I'm not a Mario... Like, I, I don't mind Mario. It's perfectly fine. But I don't love Mario like a lot of mm-hmm. people do. I'm more just really interested in like how are you going to tie all of this to what's your story? How are you gonna pull this all together and have DK in there and the races and playing all the t- and like and having the worlds and like you know the actual blocks and all these like how are you going to exp- because it seems like it's Mario gets pulled from our world into the mushroom kingdom and okay, here are the rules of this brand new world. Uh, but like, just like, how are you going to pull this all together? Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't wait to see what you do, how you how you crafted this lore into a, you know, 90-minute, two-hour animated movie that has basically every Mario game everyone's ever played. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't, and the voice cast looks really good. Also, uh, before we get to the fixes, Jay, yes, I have a theory on how everything works in the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, don't bury the lead. Hit me with a hot note. Uh, so we got we got mushrooms, we got fire flowers, we got ice flowers. Uh, the, yeah. the, the Takuni suit, the cape, the Tanuki, it's Tanuki, Tanuki, suit. Tanuki suit. Sorry, Tanuki suit. Tanuki suit. The cat suit. They. Uh, oh, what I already said the cape, the sock. The, you know, there's all the different power ups that exist throughout the, the the Mushroom Kingdom and all these games. I think I have a unifying theory of how they all work. Hit me. The Morphin Grid. <laughs> you know, I thought, you know. <laughs> part of me, part of me was like, I think he has like a really good theory. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to like, and I'm going to like dodge the punch of it. And, and then I'm going to come back with the Morphin Grid and you hit me right with the Morphin Grid. But also, I'm kind of not kidding. Okay. It, it makes sense. How how else does all of these different abilities so exist? So you're saying Mario exists in a world in which not necessarily the people have access to the Morphin Grid, but mm. the environment has access to the Morphin I'm Grid. I'm saying... And we're just living off of that ex- by, ex- by proxy. I'm saying in the original games... Mario and these items somehow tied. How else do all of these things just change Mario and Luigi? Yeah. And then, and then only no, like much it. later on it's do the other characters. The natural world of the Mushroom Kingdom has connect is connected to the Morphin Grid, and so you by eating I, the mushrooms from here power you up, like you know. Yeah. So we're just until you lose connection we're just to borrowing it. the we're borrowing yes. the Morphin Grid yes. through yes. edibles. Yes. Yes. 
and through the suit and through yeah through the feather. It's all the morphin grid, you guys. It Jay, that makes way more sense than just you know whatever. Okay, ha ha, it's morphin time. Wait, no, that's I'm like half doing Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mickey. Oh, uh, it's oh boy, no, nope. that's Mickey. Uh, yeah, ha, hoo it's a me, Mario. It's a morphin time. There you go. That's a better form of. Yoshi, tur- uh-huh. Yoshi bot. Oh, you can turn into a Yoshi. Oh yeah, no, that's that's a Zord. Yeah, it's a yeah, Zord. Yeah. Zord is totally a Yoshi, like a thousand percent. And I would have Birdo Zord. Birdo Zord. It's more fantastic. Egg, egg, egg. Yeah, egg. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suck eggs, Rita. We're coming for you. <laughs> yeah, and you'd be, and you would be, you know, Waluigi. Jay. What? We're Mario and Luigi. Yeah, you're Luigi. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. There's Bert and Ernie energy, and then there's Mario and Luigi energy. Uh, yeah, you, you know how you're more Luigi energy is you you, you would give the the eyes uh, the Mario Kart eyes. <laughs> 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 that would be totally you, like coming for you. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah good reference yeah so uh so would you like to fix it jay i think we have to i don't think <laughs> I, I don't think i don't know the general just, conceit of the show no we, we, don't see, we should no, do it no, 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 no it's more that like i just don't feel like my criticism has been like sufficient enough because would you this, like to criticize it more no it's i don't think i got it in me you know why because like this one just like completely blew out all the synapses in my brain mm-hmm. do you know what i mean like this movie to me exists outside of like uh, outside of like laser focused criticism sure because it just like because it was made in such a ah who cares mindset clearly yes. that it's like hard criticizing it because i'm like ah, but who cares just it's you not guys even, didn't care about making this movie even worth it yeah it's not even worth it mario and luigi beat koopa by using guns they got they yeah with guns Guns that don't even exist in the game. Yeah, they barely jump. Like, they should be jumping all over the place, man. They should be jumping. But jump, man. Jump, man. I mean, awesome. yeah. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, did yeah, you we, notice how they, when Koopa fell into the little, um, I don't know, like, what do you call it, like a pot or whatever that was kind of floating over the city that was yeah. a little bit kind of like they were trying to do a like, little thing. The construction thing. The construction, thing, yeah, yeah, trying to be like the little, him and his little copter thing. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah. It was, and it was not enough. No, it was not enough at all. No, because they turned him into goo. They turned him with into guns. Goo. Marlo and Luigi used guns to kill Bowser. Evolution guns, more specifically. De evolution guns, things mm-hmm. that don't exist in the Mushroom Kingdom. No. No, because they turned those, they turned the kings and stuff into animals. Animals with magic. With magic, yeah. It was magic. Kamek is so pissed mm-hmm. he's not in this movie. Or Kamek, whatever. But it would make more sense if there was magic. Yeah. Okay, we have to fix this. You're right. You're right. It's time. Structurally, podcast wise, I just I don't feel like I don't feel like I've sufficiently expressed how just truly upset I am. But please note, historians that take uh, you know, they're, they're writing on the lore previewed. Jay this is the maddest I've ever truly seen Jay. Oh he got yeah. He I hear you, Jay. He Jay has already been talking. We were talking about this about forty minutes before, we, as we were setting up. Jay really is really to the core of his being hates this movie. Yeah, like I feel like you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes like, you no, really hate. Go something. on. Like this is a like sometimes you hate something enough that you have no problem like ruining a dinner party about it. <laughs> <laughs> Like I like Star Wars, <laughs> um, but I I I hate this enough that like if someone was like if someone was gonna sit there and try to tell me how this was good, I would just be like, oh, we're no, we are. I'm gonna salt the earth with you socially. Yeah. This is over. This is over. We are <laughs> okay. no longer friends. Okay, you're gonna sit here and tell me that this movie has any inkling of something that kind of works other than Bob Hodgkins and John Leguizamo mm-hmm. just being charming. Yeah, that's it. I got nothing for you. Who? Okay. Okay. Now that we have covered that Jay really truly hates this movie, <laughs> Jay, fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Okay. My fix. 
Okay, so the the thought process of, of my fix is you have to remember that this movie came out in 1993. Yes. And this movie is very clearly influenced by Super Mario World. Yes. Which came out as the launch property game of the Super Nintendo. Right. Which came out in 1990. Yes, it did. So I am I am still, because we're getting a new Mario movie. Yes. I think for these, for at least for my fix, what I've, one thing I've maintained thought process on is like, I want to keep this coming out in 93. Yes. I want this to be like kind of the start of something, mm-hmm. um, because also we're the 1990s is like with the, with the release of Super Nintendo more specifically, like gaming at home is becoming like a bigger thing. Yeah, like we're transitioning from the arcades that we mm-hmm. had in the 80s, and like we're moving this into our homes. And there was like a lot of backlash with that. Like parents for in the 90s, like yes. were, were not thrilled about video. Games. They were not. And so much like with uh you know our D and D fixes, like I want to make a movie that is like that the whole family can enjoy. Mm-hmm. But also, like, it's just like, hey, like, video games are actually, like, really fun. Yeah. And they're not as isolating and they're not as bad for you as you think they mm-hmm. are. So that's kind of, like, my thought process. All right. So we're... That's a, good, that's a good thought. Mine is actually, like, it's set, like, in current time in 93. Mm-hmm. And um, we get um, a... The shot is up on a young uh, 11-year-old boy named Calvin. Okay. And Calvin is giving... He is giving a. Uh, uh, it's the beginning of the school year. Mm-hmm. He is giving a what I what where uh, what I did on my summer vacation like mm-hmm. presentation, um, but he is doing a lot like it's. It becomes very clear throughout his presentation that like he is just referencing all the places he went in uh, at the mm-hmm. arcade. Like in video games, and he's like, "Oh, and then like, and then then my friends like all hopped in spaceships and like defeated the space invaders and like all this stuff." And like the teacher's like, um, "Calvin, I don't think you really." He's like, "No, I mean, I technically did all this stuff." I did something like that when I was in kid. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, that's. <laughs> um, and so we find out that like he's you know kind of a total gamer nerd, um, and he's uh, as at the bell rings, it's the end of the day, and as he's leaving school, like we meet uh, his friend his friend group. Uh, but we also kind of find out that they're a little bit ostracized because they're they're the arcade kids. Of course. Um, so they, you know, it's ninety three, so they like hit their skateboards. Yep. And they Being head totally over, radical. Um, and they head over to, um, uh, the local arcade, mm-hmm. and they start uh they start beating machines. They start uh like playing machines, but like beating games, and like mm-hmm. it becomes very clear that. Um. Uh, it's it's Old Man Mars uh, arcade, and he runs the back. But he also like there's the scoreboard on the wall. It's oh, kind of like ground control. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's the one that like, um, he's the one that kind of oversees like this little gang. Mm-hmm. And but they're all very good at the games that they play, and yeah. so they're all like on the leaderboard and blah blah blah. Uh, and he uh, he announces that there is going to be like the top score on Donkey Kong is going to win a, is going to win a super Nintendo. Whoa. Okay, cool. Um, and, uh, he was like, there's so, and that's Bob, Bob Hodgkins is playing old man Mar. Of course. Yes. Um, and he's, you know, he's surly and kind of, but he really respects the games. Mm-hmm. He's like looking through, he's like watching tapes. People sent in to be like, Oh, well, like the high school, the high scores are changing today, boys. Like you got, you better get good. At, you better get better at centipede. Cause <laughs> you guys are like losing. Um, and so we get a small montage of, of Calvin and going to school and with his friends. Uh, and we meet, uh, his, his best friend, um, his best friend, Becky, she's, uh, she's also a gamer, mm-hmm. but she likes. Uh, she doesn't play the same things, same stuff they do. She right. plays like, uh, um, let's just say, uh, Burger Time. Sure, sure. I like Burger Time. Yeah, Burger. It's a fine game, yeah. but it's not like in like the Mario milieu, right? Um, and eventually, it comes to a point. Cal wins the competition, uh, wins the Super Nintendo, and like uh, takes it back to his house mm-hmm. but then he sees like all of the, the kids like go away with him and they're playing at his house and like the arcade's kind of empty um and you, you, there's just like a little bit of a wink in his eye and uh eventually it, sh- it shows up to um cal's house 
it is specifically like it is a SNES cartridge mm-hmm. with nothing on it. Um, and Cal gets it. He's alone. Uh, and he's like, I don't. Why would this show up here? What is this? Mm-hmm. And it just says like on the back, like to the winner of, you the know, contest, yeah. to the winner of the Donkey Kong contest. And it's just like uh, clicks mm-hmm. it in. As he clips it in, like clicks it in, uh, he is basically Tron style sucked into his <laughs> NES. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's very very much a, like a Tron style uh, pull in. Okay. And, we're we're suddenly like we are in Tron style Mushroom Kingdom. Ooh, okay. And Cal's like, I don't know like what this is, but it's like super kind of Super Mario graphics, mm-hmm. uh, Super Mario World graphics. So sixteen bit. Yes, but uh, uh yes, um, SNES was sixteen, was 16. bit. Yeah. Was it thirty-two? I think it was sixteen. Okay. Um, I'll check. No, no, no. I think you, I think you're correct. Um, because the Nintendo was eight. Yeah. And you can only go up in certain mm-hmm. um, degrees. Anyways, I was like, "Okay, I must be dreaming. Whatever, let's have fun." Oh, sixteen bit. And he starts making his way, like hanging out in uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. Sorry, he the the Mario the Mushroom Kingdom that he pops up in is yes. Mario Three. Yes, it's like, NES. The, like the stage play. Yeah. Um. And he starts like playing and running through mm-hmm. and uh, doing stuff, and then eventually, like he's like kind of speed running it and like doing like a really good job. And he's yeah. like, "This is amazing! Like I know all these levels, blah blah blah." And eventually, like he gets to a point where like he kind of starts like doing like uh, speeding up to a point where he is just kind of in flow, and then eventually he gets to a point where he kind of starts to jump over something, and then he realizes that there's nothing out in space, and then a hand grabs him and pulls him back, and it's Sean Leguizamo. Um, Who's kind of like wearing, you know, a Luigi esque outfit? Okay. Um, and he's like, "Hey, we've got to go. Like this, this world is actually deteriorating. We've got to go now." Um, and so the two of them are running back through where he just came from, but like as like the pixels are deleting themselves, they hit a tube, and they basically like are in a like nominal, like a liminal space. Okay. Um, and he meets kind of all of his, like a lot of the Mushroom Kingdom characters. He meets, meets like the princess and he meets, uh, you know, the, uh, the Mushroom King and all of like all of the different characters and they're all kind of there. And he finds out, Cal finds out, and this could be fun, like set pieces. This could all be practical sure. effects yeah. for the most part. Um, but Cal, uh, meets the, uh, he's hanging out with John Leguizamo. Mm-hmm. And eventually, he comes to find out that uh, they're in this space because the next Mario game is coming out. Okay. Super Mario World is coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, and they need. They were like, "Hey, like we the new game is coming out, so we need a we need a new champion." And he's like, "What are you talking about?" And they were like, um, "Well, every every time a new Mario game comes out, like." We need it needs to be it needs to be someone new. Like we have to find a new kid. And Jago was almost like, yeah, like I'm Mario too. Like and he does like the little like kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're like, well, who was the original Mario? And it was like, oh, I mean, you've you've met him. And then and then we like the the the, the pipe pops up and we see like Bob Hodgkins, who's older, but specifically he's Donkey Kong Mario. Oh. Hot damn! And, and, okay, and I was like, that oh, makes way so more your sense. So your ex-wife who left, he's like, yeah, Pauline. Lee. Yeah, she's still here. And then like, kind of like sidles up to Pauline. And so they have to like every generation like has to have a. There's he's like, you know, we call him like the, you're like the new Mario. Like I'm obviously Mario, but like you know it, because I was the first one. Like I guess we call him all Mario's, but like he had to be Luigi. Had to be different. <laughs> you know, the, the the green outfit. Um. So this was like Wreck-It Ralph. <clears throat> Very much like Wreck-It Ralph. And so um, it's the kind of thing where uh, we see, basically we, we find out what's about to happen and Cal's like, I, I don't 
I, like I just play these games like if this is a new game like I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be up to the task like what happens if like I die they're like <laughs> then I mean then, <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then Bowser wins and we'll just have to wait for the next game in order for someone else to beat him whoa yeah no pressure nothing Cal well you have you to got put, the- you gotta put the stakes somewhere did you say stakes I sure did and where am I gonna <laughs> put them um, in this question block, <laughs> I, I hope it doesn't rot before someone finds it. Um, and they're like, we don't know what, we don't know what to expect from you. Like expect from this new world. Um, we just know, like, we know it's like some of the rules, uh, but like, we've got a little bit of time to kind of like get you up to speed okay. on like what, like being a Mario in this world is. So we get a montage of John Leguizamo and, uh, Bob Hodgkins kind of like running him through and Cal's like, he's a little bit. One thing we learn about Cal is that, like, he's very confident, but, like, overly confident. But then, like, he's also a little bit afraid of heights. Oh. Um, oh. And they're, so they're, like, running him through, like, all kind of, like, you know, it'll be little Easter egg tricks about, like, sure. how Mario games work and stuff. Um, and then eventually they, like, get back and they're, like, oh, like, who knows, like, when this is going to, like, when this is going to start. And then Princess, the princess kind of starts to disappear a little bit. She's, like... Hey guys, um, I think the new game is start. Like, she gets sucked into like the like a green pipe that pops out of the wall, um, and they're like, "You got this, kid." Uh, and I, I like the idea of him getting his own little like Mario outfit, but like it's his own. Like, I think we have an opportunity to like create like maybe he's blue Ooh, or okay. something. Yeah, like y- y- you could have if this movie was good, it'd be the kind of thing where it's like, oh, you can get the Super Mario Bros. movie like suit for mario oh you know what i mean mm-hmm. like let's create our own like some little easter eggs in here that could go further into like i mean it's a mario outfit but there's a there's just a unique design to it but he's got a c on his hat yes because he's calvin he's calvin yeah because that's the most 90s name um you know what yeah it's one of, of, of boys names it's a really 90s name um and so uh, we, the second act of this movie is cal making his way through the mushroom kingdom mm-hmm. he meets a yoshi like and like I, I like the idea that like all of them are in a little liminal space kind of watching and mm-hmm. like Bob's like I don't that's new like I don't I, I didn't, we didn't get dinosaurs I just had to kill a monkey with a hammer like the good old days <laughs> <laughs> and like God intended <laughs> <laughs> then like and you didn't even kill him <laughs> you're like oh yeah where's Donkey yeah. Kong it's like ah he's got his own games yeah now. yeah <laughs> You know, for Donkey Kong Country, country yeah, um, yeah, he's a lot. Yeah, he's he's busy. I mean, it's ninety three, so I think we could get away with with them being like, a, yeah, Donkey Kong's been a lot nicer since he got sober. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, um, so it, it's him making his way through, uh, hey, his way. Uh, through Mushroom Kingdom, like in the Super Mario World, and. Uh, just just for just for brevity's sake the second act is him getting to bowser Mm -hmm. and him having to overcome some of his uh, his height fears and using the super cape to defeat bowser oh okay cool bowser's defeated in the end of the second act he gets back to the liminal space Mm -hmm. um but but at the end of the second act, yeah. Bowser sees him exit through the liminal space, and uh, and you see a lot of what like Bowser, what Bowser is going through, like in this in the second act. Mm-hmm. So like he's talking, he's like, "This is my chance. This is like this is a new chance. Like the game looks. He's like everything looks a lot better. Like this is the world I want to I want to own." And so he's working with Kamek a lot for like magic, sure. Like how to like mm-hmm. how to fudge the how system to break the a little game bit. a little bit, yeah. Yes, but he sees him go back into that liminal space mm-hmm. and like sends like little magical spies or Kamek can like like follow them mm-hmm. and sees like Cal like exit and then like kind of exit the game. And so we see, and so everything goes back to normal. Cal is back in regular life, and it's like no time has passed at all. It's a Narnia situation. He's okay. Like, okay. Well, I guess I just have to go to school yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Live my normal life now. Ugh. And so we see um, Cal goes to school the next day, um, and we see little like uh, 
through the, the his SNES, mm-hmm. like some of the Mario monsters kind of follow their way. We get maybe Kamek follows out of the out of the SNES into the real world. Oh, buddy! And through spying on Cal, figures out that Becky is like his princess, his princess. Yep. And so eventually, like, there is like a, I like the idea of like a playground sequence where like people are like playing on their Game Boys and stuff. The Game Boys like, exist. Then they look up and then like they see like they see like uh, the the Paracoopas come in and like steal Becky and bail. And so, um, Co- Bowser gets Becky, takes her into the SNES, and Cal has to get, figure out a way to get back in. Mm-hmm. Um. And uh, th- through getting back in, uh, but also one of his close friends, let's call him Roger, because that's another 90s male name, sure. comes and like he's like, you got to see this. But like Roger's still on the outside mm-hmm. um, and trying to like figure out, uh, like he's watching it happen on the screen. And so we basically, Cal has to adventure through a, um, a newly, like a kind of, the games are all kind of smushed together because Bowser has it's kind of smushed to the limit everything. Of space, yeah. Um, and so we're getting Mario One, Mario Two. We're getting Do- like Donkey Kong's back. He's like, I'm fine. I'm sober. <laughs> 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 like, oh, this is just Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get um, that product placement in there. And it gets to a point where he finally like he goes to Bowser to defeat Becky, and he's like, and Bowser's like, I- at this point, like if if I win now, mm-hmm. I-, I will. Like if if I can win now, I will have the ability. Like I will win all of the Mario's, and like I'll be king of this of all of the Mushroom Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. And it gets to a point where Cal has racked up a good amount of lives, but as he fights Bowser over and over and over again, um, he realizes that like ba- whatever Bowser's weapon is using, like he's in his like thing, like he can't dodge he can't defeat it's just a one-shot kill every time Mm -hmm. it's like bowser just keeps killing me he's like i'm not even shrinking like i'm just dying like i don't know what to do um and so roger who's like watching this whole thing happen like he's like oh we're gonna need everybody and so what he gets he he's uh he goes and gets everyone at the arcade Mm -hmm. to come back to the house and I, I like to use like through their like weird little cables. They all like hook up their Game Boys and other and their NESs to like whatever the magic is of, of this one. Sure. And they and he's like, we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of coins, you guys. We're gonna need a lot. Like we're gonna have to get uh, we're gonna have to get Calvin as many one ups as we can. And so it's like everyone in like the room like playing Mario and like getting as many coins and as many like ones ups as they can. So like his like his uh, life meter keeps going up. Uh, and eventually, like, he's like, you know, if I just keep getting closer, you keep killing me, but I keep popping back up. So, so it's like, like Wolverine at the end of X3. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just gotta stab. Just, just, ah, ah. just, I just love you so much, I can't. Ah. Yeah. And then eventually, uh, the, he defeats Bowser, <laughs> saves Becky, gets out of the game, and, uh, and it's, uh, the moral of the story is that like gaming can be like it can it can be like a a unifying thing. It can be a social aspect. There's a mm-hmm. social aspect to it, even if we're losing the arcades. Like this can bring a lot of people together. Yeah. Um. And so like everyone's like, oh, we made it, we did it, we got it out. And then they all like go to the they they all go to the arcade to celebrate. Um. And it's just old man old man Mar behind the counter, and Cal's just like. I, can you believe we did it? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, he's like, oh, I think you. Uh, but he, but he said like I, I think you for. Uh, I was looking through the lost and found. Did you leave this hat here? And it's just like a and it's just a little a little ball cap with a little like in the same color with a little C on it. And he's just like, you did good, kid. Like, then that's the end of the movie. Okay, a little magical adventure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little Tron. Yeah. Yeah. Nineties Tron. Pretty much. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, and it's, it's also so nineties. Yes, 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 yes. And it just lets Mario be Mario. It doesn't have to. You don't have to justify. You don't have to justify the Goomba to me. Nope. Just they can just be Goombas. Mm-hmm. What are they? I don't know. Bad mushrooms? I have no idea. What is a Goomba? Don't Since... act like you know. Okay. Okay, that's my fix. Ta da! Ta da!
better than the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And also, kids can see themselves in that. In that. Yep. Like, there needs to be an, an agency to it. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the whole point of video games. Mm-hmm. When you take away the agency of the main character, like, when the main characters are just, like... Stuck on tracks and you can't do anything? Yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's frustrating. Uh-huh. That's why I play video games. To do rad, cool stuff. Yes. And, and sneak and, around. And murk some fools. Yeah, sh- I want to show up with a rocket launcher and be like, <laughs> and let them know. Yeah, let them know. Let them know. <laughs> throw, throw some eggs at some yeah. explosives. I'm so sorry that you're not as cool as me. But I'm pretty cool. All right, Adam. Hit me with your fix, my dude. Okay. So I'm going from a slightly different perspective. I'm also keeping it that it, this movie comes out in 93. Okay. But at, in 93, that is that is a year that took that is after 1990 when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie came out. Go on. And the animatronics and the suits yeah. in TMNT were phenomenal so good. were so good and the jim henson company made those this movie this budget is probably four times the size of what the actual movie that was made's budget is yeah but that most of it's going to the jim henson company okay because i'm making a super mario brothers movie that is all practical effects hell okay party on dude so we are going to see all of these characters but we are doing it practically because also CG doesn't exist back then. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess there was a little bit when they went through the wall in the movie. It's like this doesn't look. That's not very good. No. But we're we're the attempt is we're gonna try to do most of this practically. I'm into it, dude. So here we go. Act one. It kind of starts off the same way. We meet Mario and Luigi, but Mario is 26 years old. Okay. I looked, at, I looked up the lore. Mario <laughs> is 20. Is like he's in his mid 20s. I'm fine with John Leguizamo like being Luigi. Oh, okay. he did a fantastic job. Yeah. We need another actor for Mario. Someone just who can just look like his older brother just by a little bit. They're, but they are very much... I, and I have no idea. I do not have a, uh, a mind for... 93. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to... Just give you, me a Yeah, sec. you peruse... I'm going to look I'm gonna, up yeah. the biggest stars of 93. Sure. Um, but so they're plumbers in New York City. Mario is dating Pauline. It's not... They're on the rocks. They're not doing great. Uh, but you know Mario, the, we realized you know, that Mario and Luigi kind of like were raised on their own. They didn't really have parents, so like there's that that strong family bond. And you thought there. about Mel Gibson? <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. I don't think nope. Feel, he's, he's, a little, he's a little too Sorry old. About, he nope. might be a little too old for this role. Um, but so the, we we find out how important the family is, especially with Luigi, who never had parents and stuff like that. Like sure. Uh, but Mario's just trying to do his best. And they're plumbers in New York City. They're doing their stuff. Um, Mario. He's got a little bit of fame uh, in the local papers here in the city because uh, he. Uh, can I uh, can I posit you a sure. uh, now that I'm actually looking at this list? Sure. It's just crazy enough to work. Okay. Do you know in '93? Do you know who you get to play Mario? Who? You have Robin do it. Robin Williams is Mario. Oh wow! Not bad. He's also a big video game nerd. Oh yeah, yeah. He named his daughter Zelda. Yeah. Maybe that would work. Maybe you get maybe you get him to do it. Maybe that's a lot of that's a lot of zany energy. I know, but I think it. I don't know. I think it's he's a, he's a very good. He's a he very, was Popeye. He's a very talented actor. He's a very talented actor. Anyway, sorry. Um, so Mario's a little famous uh, in the city because he uh, tangled with a monkey that escaped from the Brooklyn Zoo. And Interesting. He's like everyone's like, oh, this is fifteen minutes. Like, oh, you're the guy that's like, yeah, I know, oh, it's the right place, okay. right time. It just, it's not a big deal. It just, it's not a big deal. Hi, I'm here to fix your pipes. It's like, uh, just, just leave us alone. It's fine. Do you, uh, do you want to know who the highest grossing uh, actor of 1993 was? Who? Wesley Snipes. Wow. Yeah. For I don't know all the movies. He did oh, okay, all the movies is Passenger 57. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so. <laughs> So uh, I just say the facts. I don't know them, you know. <laughs> well, that, that sums us up pretty much, doesn't it? We just say the facts. We don't know them. Come on, come on. <laughs> I just say stuff, man. So uh, we get a general sense of their life. Sure, uh, they're good plumbers, you know. And, but Pauline eventually breaks up with Mario, and Mario was sad. 
Because his because his relationship was on the rocks and yeah. it didn't work out. But their neighboring building like has some plumbing issue or whatever, and so Luigi and Mario go over to fix it. And they go to the basement. And they're like, okay, well, no problem, we'll fix it. And they're talking about relationships and stuff like that. And they're and all of a sudden, I don't know, we're like everything starts shaking. Like, what's going on? And then through a wall, a green pipe just busts through, and Mario and Luigi get sucked into the pipe. All right. So in a scene, yeah. much like Thor Ragnarok, when Thor and Loki are going through the Bifrost, remember? And every, all of mm-hmm. a sudden, like something like Loki gets pushed out early. Mm-hmm. Something similar happens here. Mario and Luigi are like, ah, just blow air. Ah, and somehow, like Luigi bounces off the thing and just gets separated into a separate like, into a, a separate pipe. tube. Yeah. So Mario and Luigi split. We follow Mario through the rest of the pipe. And Mario gets spit out on like on like the beach on like a little beach. Yeah, Mario like, Sunshine. Okay, I was get like, it. Where, yeah. is this the East River? Where am I now? Am I, in, uh, am I in Rockaway? I don't. What is this? And then he just looks up, and we can say this is a kind of like you know kind of midday. He just looks up and just sees a skyship just coming in, and all of a sudden <laughs> the Koopas invade uh, Waterland. He's in World Three. Oh, okay. And this, he's now. We just watched the Koopas roll in and take over Waterland, and it's all from Mario's perspective. He is in way over bullet bills just coming through. We got things popping up and throwing ratchets. Yeah, dude. Like the Koopas are coming. Like he is. This is like Alice in Wonderland insanity. Yeah. And it's mo. It's like mostly practical effects. I'm into it. So yeah. like we see, you know, we can see stuff, and like these turtles are like. Kind of, you know, his size. They're like, man, dude, would you rather fight like fifty horse horse sized ducks or <laughs> or one duck sized horse. horse? Yeah, that type no. of thing. No, I, 50, I, yeah. fifty duck sized horses or one horse sized duck. That's it. I'm fighting the little horses. You fight the little horses. Yes, they're fragile. But du- like ducks, ducks will do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> quack, <You know? laughs> quack, 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 Nancy. Yeah, man. <laughs> So like we all <laughs> we see all of this stuff from Mario's perspective, and we're Love seeing it. and we're seeing like all the things we know from the games. And remember, like this is ninety three. Toads running for their lives, little mushroom, hit, little well, mushroom people. Toad, I toad. I don't think not works. toad specifically, but, but mushroom yeah, people. But mushroom people, like well, for the citizens of Waterland and like the ma- ma- mushroom kingdom in general. Um, and so aesthetic wise, like we're, it's got to be somewhere between what works in real life and works in the game, because it's not wouldn't be a one for one. But the Jim Henson Company is very clever. So, but like, but like, it's somewhere in between. No, I get you. It's not like, oh, that's an actual it's dinosaur just, we called Yoshi. It's not just dime store Tom Waits with a with a with a spiral shaved out of his head. Yes. It's yes, yeah. actual. Like they put thought. People were like, here's the art design. Like, no, we can find some middle ground between. What the game sprites are and what it would work, what would work in real life. Right there with you. So we see all that. It's like you know, almost a little bit of like a war scene. Just it's, this is insanity. People are running, and they, Mario has no idea what's going on, and he is in over his head until he's rescued by Peach, Toad, and Yoshi. And it's like, who the heck are you? You obviously do not belong here, but clearly he's been like running and away from everything. Like we need to get everybody out of here, and they jump into another pipe and head back to. The uh, I guess you know World yeah. One or like where he's the, like I'm not getting back in one of those things. We're like no, this they, will take us. Yeah, time to go. Yeah, <laughs> and they just go go through the, the pipe because then the water land has been taken over. So they head back to the actual castle. Like they get out of the pipe and there's the castle, um, there in front of them. And like so, hey, this is what's going on. Like we don't. Know. It's like hi, I'm I'm a Mario. Like I don't. I, I just I was fixing pipes and all of a sudden like something just bust through. It's like Oh, yeah, we've been trying to expand our pipe system. Um, it's how we get around this place. Uh, something must an errant pipe must have somehow crossed some some type of dimensional barrier. Yeah, that we have. There's all sorts of magic and stuff here. Something. I mean, and we're in the middle of a war, so something must have gotten in the way. We're really sorry that you got involved here. Um, but right now we can't just send you back. So because we're kind of in the middle of you know an invasion. So um. Just gonna just sit tight here in the castle, and everything should be fine. And like you know, and there's Yoshi, and we'll figure out how Toad works because he has no nose, and that would not be weird. But we'll figure out something for him. <laughs> um, but in while, but while they are telling, you know, giving him the the lore dump of like what's going on, even though the audience knows exactly what's going on. Um, 
uh, they like, you know, he's like cl- clearly been hurt and is like hungry. It's like, oh, and somebody like offers him like, here, you could eat this mushroom. This it should be fine. We, you know, this to help all your, you know, heal your injuries or whatever. He's like, okay, cool. I guess. Yeah, I love mushrooms on my pizza. Blah blah blah. And he eats this mushroom, and all of a sudden he goes, whoa, what? And just gets huge. Just gets larger. Yeah, but not like not too big, but like bigger. But bigger. And they're like. Cool. And everyone just stops and goes, oh, uh, what? And he's like, <laughs> what is going on? And he just like, whoa, what? And so, but like, you know, he's, he can jump a lot higher and he's like a little bit taller, you know, taller than he was. And everyone's like, does anyone, what, where are you from? It's like, I just, I don't know, Brooklyn? Like, like, <laughs> what are you talking Grand about? <laughs> yeah. I, what? What's, I, this is amazing. I've never felt this way before. I feel I feel, I feel super like oh that's cool and just like we've never does anyone ever and his peach is just like oh, I've never heard of it no one's no one here's ever had yeah. this reaction to this Our, clearly something is oh my god this is amazing you we might have a chance and like okay I don't know what's going on it, but like it really turns out that like yeah. he has he reacts differently to the things here than they do Gotcha. And so they threw a little trial and error, like, oh, here, you know, they like they start touching stuff and feeling, and he, fire flower, like, whoa, his hands come on fire, like, this is, <laughs> what is this? It's <laughs> awesome. So there's a little bit of that, you know, training montage of like, just cool, this is really cool. So he gets kind of swept up and like, not, we're not doing all of the items, but we're just doing some of the mainstays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at the beginning here, Tom at least. Nuki shoot. That comes later. Um, Tom so Nuki. he has a little fun with all the stuff, and everyone's like, "We, Mario, we need your help. Like, we, you know, we can do what we can, but like, we've been under attack for you know months from the yeah. Koopa Kingdom. Like, we need you could really help us." And he's, he's all swept up in all the stuff, and he goes, "Oh my God, Luigi! I need to find my. I don't, I don't have time. To, I need to find my brother." Cut to Luigi. Awesome. Who bounces out of his pipe into World Eight, the Dark Land, basically right on the doorstep of Koopa's castle? Oh no! So we see Luigi being like, oh, "Hello, uh, hello, what's going? Is that, can someone help me?" So Luigi is now ha- now. This may I may have subconsciously sucked this in from what they're about to do with the Mario movie coming out this week, uh-huh. from just seeing the com- the commercials sure. and stuff. That's fine, but. Uh, so Luigi's hanging out. I guess Koopa comes out, you know, and the Koopa kids are there as well. Yeah, and they're like, "Who are you?" And they like try to take him. They don't take him captive, but like they help him. But they're like very wary of what's going on. Sure. So he meets Koopa and the kids and stuff like this. And um, basically, Koopa sees what's going. Like, just kind of realizes that something is wrong here. He, this guy does not belong in my in this world. This might be, I might have a chance. This might be giving me an opportunity for something here. Okay. And so Bowser spins a tail, and this is where I'd like to, if you would like, I don't like, I don't want to pimp you out, but you're very good at like, hey, the dark side is actually pretty cool. If you could, if you could be Bowser, pitching his uh, viewpoint on what he, why he's doing what he's doing, to Luigi, in the sense of like, because I have like, I'm just a single father with eight kids. And you know we're just trying to take back what's ours, like the coop, the, the, yeah. the, the mushroom kingdom. Oh, the mouse is just like oh, it, you know, it, the 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 mush the mushrooms are great, but they they have overpopulated this world, and honestly, like we were here first, and they act like they own everything. So we're just taking back. Look, we're just trying to get to world eight. I'm not going to nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm just trying to. T- it's more of like a he's trying to take back. Like I'm just trying to, you know, it's it's like with Russia and Ukraine. They're like, oh, well, we're just it's just this was ours, so we're just gonna oh, like, yeah, you know, see, it's just just let us do it. It's a historic claim to the land. Yeah, like, we'll just it, let us take this. Yeah, land. this is this is traditional Bowser territory. I'm just trying to protect my family. Yes, because he's coming at it from a family angle. Unknowingly, that's Luigi's weakness because yes. he didn't have parents. And yes. Mario was his only family, so he was always one to family. And this guy, a single dad. Mario was kind of a single dad yep. to him. So like, oh, family. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, I would do anything for my family. Oh, yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah. And then they find out like the same thing that Mario just found out. Like, oh, you react differently to things here. 
Like, but like the uh, little, like the little, like, but like the the Hammer Bros. He can pick up the hammers. Like, well, this is neat. And that, that maybe that came later in a later game. No, I get you. But like, you know, the little, the little, the, the little stuff. hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. hey, you know, we would really appreciate your help. And they're like, yeah, you know what? I mean, I gotta find my brother. But like, if we're Headed in the same direction? Sure. Why not? So we get like a little bit of a dark montage of Lu- Luigi learning how to use the uh, the like the, the evil items okay. in the game. Yeah. So all of this clashes at the end of Act Two of like they uh, the Koopas invade uh, the desert land, which is World Two. Sure. And so like Mario and Peach and the gang like they gotta go defend it. And, like oh no! And like on the field of battle is all the you know the Koopa kids and the. The, uh, the you know the airships come in or whatever. Uh, Mar- everyone's fighting and they're trying to do stuff and like they're jumping on turtles and the turtles come in and the bullet. I was like, this is all this is all crazy. Luigi and Mario f- meet on the field of battle and they're like, brother, wait, what are you? What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? And so they kind of like meet and like figure out like what? No, this is not the thing. Luigi, come man, what are you doing? Oh no, what have I done? Ah, just as they like reconcile. They look. They just go. The Koopas go right over carpet bomb. Just right over the desert land, skipping it, and they're just heading right to the castle. They're like, oh, we got to get back, back into the, rah, 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 back into the pipe. Sure. They're, and Luigi and Mario get back just in time to see the Koopas lay waste to the princess's castle. Yo. They steal the princess, and they also take the superstar that's like in the kind of yes, like yes, yes, in yes, the, yes. the heart of the castle. Sure, it's a, like in a glass thing. It's kind of like you know, no, the, no, from I the, know yeah, I, from the I, Beauty and the Beast, the rose. Sure. Yeah, and the like, stars are yeah, yeah. There, this is what the, and Pre- Pre- Peach said that earlier in the lore dump. Um, so Pre- uh, Princess Peach is kidnapped. The star is taken. The castle's in ruins, and it's just Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Yoshi just sitting there like, uh, oh no, what have we done? We got to get. Princess Peach and the star back. But how... how like, it's just... It, the, the kingdom's in ruins. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Everything's sad. I don't know what we're going to do. And then... Wait, and then, then all of a sudden, Mario's like, oh, I've got an idea. But I need to go home. Okay. We need to get back to where I came out. That's the pipe that leads back to Brooklyn. So, every, so Yoshi... Brooklyn... Yeah, Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. Like it was Brooklyn. Oh, Bro- Brooklyn. <laughs> Back to the Brooklyn. Oh, maybe that's what the Toad yes. did. Toad, that's what, to Brooklyn? A thousand percent. Yeah. A thousand <laughs> so, yeah. percent. Good yes, 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 yes. Um, so they, they head back to World 3 and where, where the that pipe was that laid back to the neighbor's uh-huh. thing. So Mario goes back home while, uh, while uh, Luigi, Toad, and Yoshi head back through a warp pipe that gets them to World 8. Gotcha. That's where I think it's, wasn't there a warp pipe to World Eight and the Three. It doesn't know. matter. And a little little nudges to the game. So Yoshi, Toad, and Luigi lay siege to and with some of the whatever the Toads or people who survived the the assault. Uh, not that anyone really dies, but you know, we're can are healthy enough to help kind of get the princess back to you know go after Princess yeah. Peach. Where are you in, going with this in in World Eight? So and and they're using some items and stuff like that that we haven't seen before. Sure. Maybe like the ice flower that shows up and stuff like that. There's some fun, they, and they they do decently well, but okay. they, they take out some of the Koopa kids so they you know they disable them a little bit and they get pretty far into not Roy. I'll always Roy. Roy's always the first one I to go. Roy. He's my favorite. Um, they get, you know, they decently uh, assault the castle decently well, but eventually they get stalled outside, you know, before the drawbridge or whatever. And things are looking bad until Mario shows up. He's like, don't worry, guys. I brought a friend. And off of his back climbs the monkey that he caught earlier. Okay. And he's like, guys. This might be crazy. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I think it might. And he pulls out one of the mushrooms from his pocket and gives it to the monkey. And, every, like, and all of a sudden, DK pops up yeah, right man. next to him. Yeah, Donkey Kong. So we got Donkey Kong. We got Mario. He's like, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm at this step now where I have to make amends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really sorry for what I did earlier. <laughs> so. Threw a lot of barrels. Took me too. <laughs> so we now have Mario, DK, 
Luigi, Toad, and Yoshi tag team, and they're doing stuff. They're using items. They're assaulting the castle. It's it's really working. They get into the throne room. They're knocking out. They're they're using items. It's really like everyone's using stuff. It's really cool. DK smashing things. Have yeah, the hell. Man. It's everything seems to be going their way. It's awesome till they get to Bowser. And like everyone, it's, it's, this is a really cool battle scene. Remember, Bowser is like a full anime, like a guy in a suit. Like they, 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 like they really did this thing. So like they okay. are, they are battling and doing the shots are all, like it's really it's cool action that they could pull off. You know, if, tur- if they could pull off Ninja Turtles, no, I agree. They can pull off some of this I stuff. Getcha. So it's a really cool battle through the throne room, and all it finally gets down to just uh, Mario and Koopa. And they and they go for the star. The the glass, all the powers and the items people are using. Mm-hmm. The, the Yoshi gives Mario a cape at some point, or the feather, or whatever. He gets the cape. He's flying through. Like he's doing all the cool stuff because we have all the items that have been up through Mario World. So like, oh my God, this is amazing! This is so cool. The the glass breaks over the star, so the star is now available to yes. be grabbed. And Mario and Koopa start going for it at the same time, and Mario grabs it first. And then something strange happens. Yep. Mario goes invincible and starts whooping Koopa's butt. And it seems like the day is saved. Everything's great. Everyone's looking out like, this is amazing. The music's going for us. Like, this and is he's great. Like, this should have vaporized him. <laughs> no, I can't believe this is happening. The star gets knocked off its thing and, like, you know, slides across the ground behind some rubble or something like that. And Mario seems like he's just about to win. And then the invincibility just goes away. Yeah. And then all, then Koopa just, wow, just nails him. And the Koopa kids like recover a little bit. And everyone surrounds Mario and it's like, oh, he's going to get stomped. This is, this is really bad. Until Luigi steps up and says, get away from my brother. And he's sitting there with, and DK comes up, Toad, Yoshi, and Princess Peach has the star in her hand and then uses some type of I don't know mushroom magic or whatever yeah and recharges the star oh for the power of friendship yeah and teamwork yeah and then Luigi and DK touch the star and then they go invincible and then the music hits again but this time with a Latin chorus so you know it's on Luigi grabs Mario, gives him the star power, and so now all three of these characters from our world are in charge, uh, charged up by the star, and they go ham on all of the Koopas. It's super. They're jumping on them. They're like, "Wow, yeah. no, we're just a turtle shell now." Just, it's so cool. Yeah, it's kicking turtle shells that it's, are bouncing off of walls. It's and awesome. Knocking out. It's Ludwig. awesome. It's the coolest thing a kid who's you know a kid, a young kid who sees like I play these games and now I'm seeing a, this. I yeah. don't know how they're pulling this stuff off, but this is so cool. Yes. They defeat Koopa together with teamwork and friendship and superstar power, and then Koopa just you know they they basically <laughs> destroy Koopa's castle yeah. in the process, and everyone's back to the Mushroom Kingdom. They rebuild the castle. And Peach is, and Mario and Peach have a little bit of a moment because he, you know he just got broken up with by Pauline a couple of days ago. But yeah. There's like a little bit of a, oh hi, um, and he's like, do you would you like to stay? And he's like, I don't, hmm, yeah, maybe. And then the movie ends. That's awesome. That's really fun. Yeah, and I think they could have pulled most of that off. I with, think they could have. With the technology we had in the early 90s. With what they had in this movie, I think they could have pulled off that to a, to a, a, to a degree that would have been passable. Yes, to a degree that would have been passable. That would have been like, you know what? Some of these, I mean. Because clearly, when your story's strong enough, I will go along with some bad CG. Sure. Like like some bad effects. Like, I'll go along with it if I'm invested in your story. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Really like that a lot, dude. Yeah. We got DK, we got Stars, we got Items, Morphin Grid. Man. <laughs> how, I mean, that's how it it works. <laughs> At one point, Luigi's in a, in a, how do you say it? Ta- Takoon? No. Tanuki suit. Tanuki suit. This, this mm. podcast brought to you by Tanuki suit. Lorraine Newman. <laughs> nice SNR. Tanuki suit. Dana Carvey. 
<laughs> they could have done a real Bowser if they wanted to. Yeah, they, they really, really could have. It would have been awesome. They pulled off the Ninja Turtles three years earlier on a very small budget. And this was just... They could have done... They could have done... They could have had the kids. They could have... You know, or you could, maybe had five kids. Whatever. You just had a couple Koopa kids. Have actual Bowser. Like, they could have done... They could have done so much stuff. Ugh. Well, we did it. We did do it. I think we fixed it. Got this movie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We did it. Thank you guys so much for watching and and or listening and or of listening. We we really appreciate it. We love making this show. We really do. You know, if you this one was super hard. This one was hard. This one was hard. And I've never had watching the actual movie take the wind out of my sails for my fix. I was like, you know what? Can we just like, can we just leave this one buried? Like, <laughs> can we just not even talk about it? Um, but yeah, if you're listening to this wherever you catch your podcast, if you wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor and just leaving us a review, uh, that would be awesome. It, you know, as much as they say it's like, oh, it helps the show and like expands it, blah blah blah, whatever. I just think they're fun. And I like reading them. And they make me happy. But it also uh, does help the show. It does help the show. Um, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, do that YouTube that you do so well. We just crossed 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Heck yeah. On on the podcast? Heck yeah, yeah the we podcast, did. yeah. Let's get it to 10. Right now. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Don't make me throw fireballs at you. He'll do put, it. Put, 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 As we end every episode, heartbreak feels good. In a place like this. It's the slow bullet bill. You clearly see coming, but no, there's just... you just it's when they you, slow it down, down, it's harder, you, you, and you I can't, don't know why. You, you, oh, God, I'm trapped. I can't... Oh, uh, no, there's a wrench. I'm... Oh, God. Oh, damn it. All right, start it again. <laughs> oh. Bye, everybody. Bye.